In today's video, we're diving into the recent announcement that has everyone talking, the $2,400 increase in Social Security benefits effective today, June 18th. If you or someone you know relies on Social Security, this news could have a significant impact on your financial situation. Stick around to find out all the details who is eligible and how you can benefit from this substantial increase. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated with the latest Social Security news and tips. Let's start by breaking down what this $2,400 increase actually means. This boost in benefits is a result of new legislation aimed at addressing the rising cost of living and the financial challenges many Social Security beneficiaries face. As we all know, the cost of living has been climbing steadily, making it harder for people on fixed incomes to make ends meet. This increase is designed to provide some much-needed relief. The announcement was made by key lawmakers and Social Security officials who have been working tirelessly to ensure that beneficiaries get the support they need. They emphasized the importance of this increase in helping seniors, disabled individuals, and other recipients to better manage their day-to-day -day expenses. So why now? The timing of this increase isn't random. It comes as part of a broader effort to improve the Social Security system and make it more responsive to the needs of its beneficiaries. Recent studies and feedback from Social Security recipients highlighted the urgent need for a boost in benefits. Lawmakers took this feedback seriously, leading to the approval and implementation of the $2,400 increase. The primary goal of this increase is to enhance the financial security of Social Security recipients. By adding $2,400 to their annual benefits, the hope is that individuals will have a bit more breathing room when it comes to paying for essentials like housing health care and groceries. For many, this increase could mean the difference between struggling to get by and being able to live more comfortably. It's important to understand that this $2,400 isn't a one-time payment. Instead, it will be distributed throughout the year, effectively increasing monthly benefits by $200. This steady boost will help beneficiaries manage their budgets more effectively rather than dealing with a lump sum that could be more challenging to handle. To sum up this section, the $2,400 increase in Social Security benefits announced today is a significant step toward helping recipients cope with the rising cost of living. This increase aims to provide ongoing financial relief, ensuring that beneficiaries have the resources they need to live with dignity and security. In the next sections, we'll explore who qualifies for this, increase how to claim it, and what this means for the future of Social Security. Stay tuned. Eligibility and Application Process Now that we understand the significance of the dollar, 2,400 Social Security increase, Let's delve into the details of who qualifies for this boost and how you can apply or claim these additional benefits. This section will cover everything you need to know about eligibility, the application process, important deadlines, and required documentation. Make sure to watch until the end to ensure you don't miss any crucial information. First, let's talk about eligibility. The $2,400 increase is designed to help a wide range of Social Security beneficiaries. Here's a breakdown of who qualifies. One, retirees. If you're currently receiving Social Security retirement benefits, you are eligible for this increase. This applies to both early and full retirement beneficiaries. Two, disabled individuals. Those receiving Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, will also benefit from this increase. This includes individuals who became disabled before or after retirement age. Three, Survivors. If you're receiving Social Security survivor benefits, such as those for widows, widowers, or dependent children, you are included in this increase. 4. Supplemental Security Income, SSI, recipients. While SSI is a separate program, the increase also extends to eligible SSI beneficiaries, ensuring that those with limited income and resources receive this vital support. It's essential to note that this increase is not restricted by income level, or additional sources of income. As long as you fall into one of these beneficiary categories, you are eligible for the increase. Now let's move on to the application process. Fortunately, the process is designed to be straightforward. Here's what you need to do. One, 
automatic adjustments. In many cases, you don't need to take any action to receive the increase. Social Security will automatically adjust your monthly benefits to reflect the additional $200, starting with your next payment. 2. Check your status. If you want to ensure that you're receiving the correct amount, you can check your benefit status online. Direct Express Card. Beneficiaries who use a Direct Express Card to receive their Social Security payments will see the stimulus amount loaded onto their card. 5. No additional steps needed. Importantly, there is no need to fill out any additional forms or applications to receive your stimulus payment. It will be processed automatically based on your existing Social Security benefit information. 1. Eligibility. If you receive SSI benefits, you are eligible for a stimulus check. This applies to all SSI recipients, including adults and children receiving disability benefits. 2. Automatic deposits and mail. Like Social Security beneficiaries, SSI recipients will receive their payments automatically. If you have direct deposit set up, expect your stimulus check to be deposited into your account. Otherwise, a paper check will be mailed to you. 3. Direct Express Card. If you receive your SSI payments through a Direct Express Card, the stimulus payment will be added to your card balance. 4. No need to file. You don't need to file any additional paperwork or take any extra steps to receive your stimulus check. The IRS and Social Security Administration are coordinating to ensure you get your payment automatically. Information for Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI. Beneficiaries, SSDI Beneficiaries. Here's what you need to know about your stimulus payments. 1. Automatic payments. If you're an SSDI recipient, your stimulus check will be deposited into the same account where you receive your SSDI benefits. This ensures a seamless process without any extra steps required from you. 2. Direct deposit. For those who receive their SSDI benefits via direct deposit, your stimulus payment will be automatically deposited into your bank account starting today. 3. Paper checks and direct express. If you don't use direct deposit, your payment will either be mailed as a paper check or added to your Direct Express card, depending on how you typically receive your SSDI benefits. 4. Coordination with IRS The IRS is working closely with the Social Security Administration to ensure SSDI beneficiaries receive their payments without any additional action required. This means you can expect your stimulus check soon, just as with your regular benefits. Insights for Veterans Affairs VA Benefit Recipients Veterans Receiving VA Benefits Here's what you need to know about your stimulus payments. 1. Eligibility If you receive VA benefits such as disability compensation pensions or survivor benefits, you are eligible for a stimulus check. This includes all individuals and families receiving these benefits. 2. Direct Deposit For those who have direct deposit set up for their VA benefits, the stimulus payment will be deposited directly into your bank account. 3. Paper Checks and Direct Express If you receive your VA benefits by paper check or Direct Express card, your stimulus payment will be processed in the same manner. Expect a paper check in the mail or a deposit to your Direct Express card. 4. No additional requirements Similar to Social Security and SSI recipients, VA beneficiaries do not need to take any additional steps to receive their stimulus checks. The payment will be processed automatically based on your existing benefit information. As stimulus checks roll out, many of you might have questions about the process. In this section, we'll address some common questions, explain what to do if you don't receive your check, and offer tips on managing and using your stimulus money wisely. Common questions about the stimulus checks 1. When will I receive my stimulus check? Direct deposit. If you have direct deposit set up for your Social Security SSI, SSDI, or VA benefits, your stimulus check should start arriving from June 20th. However, it might take a few days for the payment to reflect in your account. Paper checks. If you receive benefits via paper check, your stimulus payment will be mailed to you. This could take a few weeks to arrive, so patience is key. Direct Express Card. If you use a Direct Express card, the stimulus payment will be loaded onto your card just like your monthly benefits. 2. How much will I receive? The amount of the stimulus check varies based on the specific relief package in place. 
Generally, individuals can expect to receive a payment similar to previous stimulus amounts, but it's best to check the latest updates for the exact figures. 3. Do I need to take any action to receive my check? No, there is no additional action required from you. The IRS, in coordination with the Social Security Administration and VA, will process your payment automatically based on the information they already have on file. 4. Will the stimulus check affect my regular benefits? No, the stimulus check will not affect your regular Social Security, SSI, SSDI, or VA benefits. It is an additional payment meant to provide financial relief and will not impact your eligibility for other benefits. 5. Can I track my payment? Yes, you can use the IRS. Get my payment tool on their website to track the status of your stimulus check. This tool will provide information on the payment status and the method of payment, direct deposit or mail. What to do if you don't receive your check? If you haven't received your stimulus check within the expected time frame, here are the steps you should take. 1. Check the status online. Use the IRS. Get my payment tool to check the status of your payment. This will give you an idea of when and how your payment is being sent. 2. Verify your information. Make sure that the Social Security Administration or VA has your correct bank account details or mailing address. Any errors could delay your payment. 3. Wait a few weeks. If you're expecting a paper check, remember that it can take a few weeks to arrive. Give it some time before taking further action. 4. Contact the IRS. If you still haven't received your payment after an extended period, contact the IRS directly. They can provide more specific guidance and help resolve any issues. Tips for managing and using your stimulus money wisely. Receiving a stimulus check can provide significant financial relief. Here are some tips on how to manage and use your money effectively. 1. Prioritize essential expenses. Use the stimulus money to cover essential expenses, such as rent utilities, groceries and medications. Ensuring your basic needs are met should be the first priority. Two. Pay off debt. If you have high interest debt, consider using part of your stimulus check to pay it down. Reducing debt can help improve your financial stability in the long run. 3. Save for emergencies. If possible, set aside some of the money into an emergency savings fund. Having a financial cushion can provide peace of mind and help you handle unexpected expenses. 4. Invest in long-term needs. Consider investing in items or services that can improve your quality of life or help you save money in the future, such as home repairs, medical care, or education. 5. Seek financial advice. If you're unsure about the best way to use your stimulus, money consider consulting with a financial advisor. They can provide personalized advice based on your specific situation, 